Okay, I was scouting on my other account. My last video literally just right now finished rendering and Slough is currently online. Hopefully he's not AFK and hopefully he will be able to recruit me. Let's see. All right, it appears like he is active in the clan chat right now, which is a fantastic start to this video. But in the meantime, welcome back to episode eight of the free to play skiller series. We're starting out this video with a total level of 444. We have at least base 50s in all stats except for runecrafting. I'm planning on doing runecrafting way later. And we do currently have three level 60 stats, those being crafting, fire making, and cooking. We also have 13 quests completed with a total quest points of 29. The only quest that we could still do as a free to play skiller is Mistal and Mystery, Shield of Arav, and if we want to, we could finish up Demon Slayer, getting us some combat XP, but hopefully not too much. You look here in the clan chat, Slough is going to be able to recruit me, finally. And it appears like we've been accepted. Let's see here. There we go. And now we just need the Emerald rank, unless he changed the ranks. Okay, so it appears like Slough accidentally gave me the Sapphire rank. We should be the Emerald rank. He's probably going to fix that in a second here. However, if you guys are curious, as a free-to-play skiller, here are the ranks. I'm going to put them on screen right now. And the requirements to get them. Hey, there we go. We are now officially the Emerald rank after however many videos that we've been trying to get it. Thank you, Slough. Thank you so much for updating my rank. Well, already, now that we finally have the Emerald rank, we can continue leveling up our account. As you guys saw in the graph earlier, our next unlock is going to be the Diamond rank at 500 total level. Now, I'm not sure if it's 500 total level overall or if it's the free total level like you see up here at 436 because the regular total level counts all of these members only skills as one level each and the free total level doesn't incorporate those at all. So technically in the free to play worlds, we have 436 total level, but counting these level one member stats, we have 444. I think the skill that we're gonna train right now is going to be wood cutting. I'm gonna try to get level 60 wood cutting and then we will see what stat we want to train next. All right, level 51 woodcutting. Quick update, it is the next day from my last clip where we just got the emerald rank and I said it about 35 times. However, I go into the clan chat now and we're back at the sapphire rank. So I wrote in the clan chat and it turns out that literally today they upgraded the rank chart that I just showed you guys and this apparently is the new chart. Unfortunately, it took away the cool looking rank from my max skiller as well, which is really unfortunate. I really, really like that emblem that I had. And now, unfortunately, we are back to the Zenite logo. All right, level 52 woodcutting sneaking on in here. I don't know if it's only because it's 5.12 in the morning right now, or if it's just the state of woodcutting and free-to-play, but compared to whenever I was training woodcutting last time, a little more close to the initial forestry release, this place was popping. There were so many people, I was getting so much XP an hour, and now it's just kind of dead. This is the most popular world. I even hopped to the free-to-play forestry world, and it only had three people in it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is World 301. This is the best and most popular world to do this. Just a little unfortunate because the more people who are chopping trees, the higher the chance of the forestry events, as well as an increased invisible boost that you get from multiple people chopping a tree. I have two plugins on right now. One is called Tree Count. One is called Tree Despawn Timer. Despawn Timer is not too accurate, but it does give a decent picture of when the tree is going to expire. But the Tree Count is really where it's at. It shows how many people are currently chopping that tree so that you get the best invisible boost. But yeah, overall, I just wish that the free-to-play worlds were a little bit more popular here while cutting willow logs. 53 wood cutting. We are currently getting... How much XP an hour here? It says we're getting 32,000 XP an hour. I think it is a little bit more than that. Simply because I just had to keep hopping worlds and hopping back because these wizards were attacking me while I was trying to lose aggro. It's probably more around 35, 36,000 XP an hour, which isn't too, too bad. However, with more people here, we would definitely be getting better stuff. Haven't gotten a single forestry event in about an hour. Uh, don't know what's going on there. I guess it's because there's not a lot of people here, but I don't know. I mean, not even a single one. It's pretty weird. 54 wood cutting coming in. If we were a member, we can cut down Arctic Pine. I don't think I've ever actually done that as a member before. But yeah, it's kind of cool to know that we would be able to do that if we were a member. 
Alrighty, it appears like we got our first forestry event. It took about an hour and 45 minutes, which is insane. It seems like it's a little earlier in the morning. People are starting to log on here. It's 626 AM right now. Maybe free to play woodcutting here is still pretty decent, just not at the times that I usually play. And there we go, level 55 woodcutting. I just got level 56 woodcutting and I didn't even realize, but we just hit total level 450. Also, there is another forestry event. I've never seen this one before, the pruned entlings. Not really sure what to do with those, but I will figure it out, I guess. I didn't end up doing this correctly until the very end, but we ended up getting 630 XP. Hey, we just got a beginner clue scroll. I'm going to do that later so that I don't have to re-lose the aggro on these dark wizards. But let's see what the first step is anyway for now. Oh wait, that's right here. <laughs> wow, okay, I don't know what the odds of that are. But uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll go grab a spade and just get it done with. Hopefully it's a one-stepper because that would be the easiest clue scroll of my life. Okay, and the next one is in Barbarian Village. Not going to be doing that right now. I am going to keep woodcutting until we get to at least level 60. And we're actually going to take a canoe this time to Barbarian Village. It's definitely faster if I run there from Draenor. But I want to kind of show you guys the canoe transportation system that I will be using in free to play. Speaking of canoes, level 57 woodcutting coming in here. And we can now build a Waka canoe. And to my knowledge, that is the best canoe that we can make. 58 woodcutting and 59 woodcutting coming in it's not too bad very relaxing here especially once you've lost aggro to the wizards so yeah i'll see you guys at level 60. i decided to mix it up change my outfit up a bit this is the new outfit i think it looks pretty cool this bot here is about to die from a dark wizard and then it's probably going to attack me next however i just thought that an outfit change was in order anyway let's go get 60 woodcutting and there we go level 60 woodcutting we can now cut yew trees. I'm not going to be doing that because it's super slow. Message went off in the clan chat as well. Thank you everybody in District 3 for congratulating me. But anyway, let's go crank out this clue scroll. I want to show you guys the canoe method. So uh, yeah, let's teleport to Lumbridge. Okay, so all that you need to do is once you're in Lumbridge, you want to head over east to where the goblins are. You're going to click on the canoe station to chop down the tree. Click on the canoe, select what kind you want to make. As you guys just saw in a previous clip, we can now make the highest tier available, the Waka Canoe. We're gonna make the canoe, click it to put it in the water, and now we can go. The higher tier canoe that you make, the farther you can go. So if I only made a regular one, I think I'd only be able to go to the Champions Guild, and every time that you upgrade your canoe, the farther you can go. So I'm actually able to go all the way out to Ferox Enclave, but obviously we're not gonna be doing that. We're going to Barbarian Village, so let's go. See the line where the sky meets the sea, it calls me, and no one knows how far it goes. The canoe is actually very useful in free to play, and I'm surprised I didn't think to show you guys how it actually works, because believe it or not, not everybody knows about the canoe station. But here we go. Let's see if we get a casket. And we do not. We got another clue. And now we gotta go to Reldo to get the strange device because we don't have one yet. Whoa. There are 30 people chopping this yew tree over here. So maybe yew trees are actually kind of viable in free to play. And maybe I'll do them in the future. I'm not sure yet. But I'm probably gonna start at like level 70. That way the boost gets me up to level 80. It's gonna be a while before we do use, but it seems to be popping off. It's very cool. All right, let's see the strange device and where it takes us. I'm just trying to figure out where to go and this mugger won't leave me alone. Where is this thing? Is it on this side? Okay, so apparently it's over here, which means that I got to run all the way around. I could have sworn that the clue scroll plugin showed you where the hot and colds could possibly be and then it narrows it down, but I guess not. So we have finally arrived at the spot we need to dig, and we got our casket. Hopefully we get a unique, but if not, no big deal. But anyway, let's see what it is. Amazing. Look at that. Even saved a screenshot. It was so good. Oak Shortbow. That was our fifth beginner clue scroll, which is very cool. But anyway, I think the next skill that we're going to train to level 60 is probably going to be fishing. 
I told you guys I was going to keep these videos shorter than they have been, and I'm sticking to it. So this is where I'm actually going to end today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like below. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. That way, you don't miss any future uploads of the series. But with all that being said, hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.